Hi, I'm Conrad Fisher, and this is Routine Miracles. I am very privileged to have Mr. Andrew Robinson. Hello, Andrew. How are you? I guess I'm feeling great. It sounds pretty <laughs> bad. Yeah, when I think about it, it's like, boy, I'm doing great. <laughs> right, right, right. So tell us, you know, what was your original cancer that you had? Well, originally I was diagnosed with chronic lymphocytic leukemia, or CLL. That was about 15, 18 years ago, and it was out of the blue. I was 36, a trial attorney, and I was in a small town hospital, went in, I was on vacation because I was having some coughs and I wanted to get an antibiotic, and they did some blood tests and x-rays. A doctor came in, the original doctor, and said, well, uh, we have to do some more testing, and a lot of time went by, and another doctor came in and introduced himself as an oncologist. And he laid me flat. Unfortunately, you know, some doctors do this. He introduced himself and said that the test had shown that I had a terminal incurable form of leukemia less than five years to live. Uh, and that I didn't have to hurry back from my vacation to New York because there was nothing anyone would be able to do about it. Nothing gets you going more, got me going more than saying you can't, you won't, you know. Uh, so, you know, I kind of use that continuing upset and anger to kind of push through every level of impossibility or difficulty. Um, you know, I decided I had to be an active patient. And being active isn't uh, being aggressive or, uh, you know, pushing doctors. You know, most of my doctors are my best friends. I'm so grateful for what they have done, the time, the commitment. I wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for so many doctors, the nurses. One of the things most people would know is that CLL is a disease that normally is almost exclusively in people who are 60 to 70 years old or older. You know, I still wonder, but to me it was more, well, what uh, can I do? And, you know, when someone tells you at age 36 and probably any age that you have a terminal illness, you know, you're willing to jump through a lot of hoops and over a lot of barriers to try and find a solution. Well, no, you are willing to. Where did your bone marrow transplant occur? Uh, it occurred in Israel. And How come it didn't happen in the United States? I had been sick for a number of years. I was getting worse. And in that period of time, they had actually started doing bone marrow transplants for people my age with this illness. So I went to the two top centers because just going to a cancer center isn't sometimes enough. You have to know what the top centers are for this particular illness. What's relevant? is the lengths to which you were willing to go, the lengths to which you went. The difficulty is just because the doctor says, well, it's not going to work or it's not going to happen, you don't necessarily want to stop there. You don't want to let them shut you down, which happens to a lot of people. But however you handle it is the way you handle it. My inclination was different. How'd you end up in Israel? One thing you do as a patient, you let people know, friends, relatives, and a uh, friend of my uncle in Florida sent him an article about a new kind of transplant that they were doing in Israel. And I called uh, the fellow in the article, in Israel, Professor Slavin. He comes to New York. He gave me an examination. He was staying in the Sheraton Hotel. He met with me in a very Israeli style. He said, eh, well, we'll give it a try. Now, that is amazing by itself because of the issue that Literally, with a white cell count of 450,000. Yeah, it was, actually, it was actually much higher. It was really? at 900,000 at one 900, point. 900,000. It was off the charts. Literally weeks out it from dying. It was very, very close. Snatched back mm -hmm. by a bone marrow transplant with your sister's bone marrow. Yeah. Years, two years, three years earlier, uh, I wouldn't be alive. I wouldn't be walking. You there's know, no question. There's no doubt that if your diagnosis of COL had been made as little is 12 to 24 months beforehand, mm -hmm. that would be it for you. And that's the point of this book. That's so exciting and such a blessing. Well, listen, Andrew, thank you very much for coming to share your story with me. I really appreciate it. Okay? It's my pleasure. And I'm sure it will help a lot of people who are suffering from various things to have endurance to overcome what is the weakness that they have themselves. I hope so. Thanks very much.